minis, it's me, Zuda and I'm back with another uh, controller comparison. Um, well, for the second time, I've only done one of these, and that was at the very beginning of my channel, which was the Xbox 360 versus the PS3 controller. Um, so, as I've got a Nintendo Switch Pro controller recently, I wanted to compare it, uh, the Nintendo Switch con uh, Pro controller to the Wii U Pro controller. And because both of these controllers are my two favourite controllers of all time, purely of the comfort, uh, it's more about the comfort than the quality. Design wise, my custom Xbox controller, but for um, comfort, these two are my favourites, and I'm trying to figure out which is my favourite out of the two if I had to pick, but these two are my favourite equally. Uh, but if I had to pick one, this will be when. I have to uh, choose one of the two. So what I've done is pretty much very similar to what I did uh, when I first started. Did that video. I did once again do like a little grid. Obviously have the layout and obviously Wii U and Nintendo Switch. And then like the different things. Joy. So we have joysticks, the directional pad slash D-pad, bumper buttons, trigger buttons, action buttons A, B, X and Y, uh, home button, um, What's that? That's the style and the appearance, and then there's the feel and the comfort, and there's the start and select, plus and minus, and then there's the overall uh, overall layout. So obviously the whole controller layout. Uh, obviously this is the first video as well with the microphone and the webcam, so I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, joysticks, of course. So. Layout is different for the joysticks compared to the Wii U and the Switch. The Switch definitely reminds me of the Xbox. It's the same layout. Obviously, one at the top left and one at the top bottom. Um, but obviously, they feel different compared to both. I know I'm bringing Xbox into this, even though it's not anything to do with it. Well, I mean, it's not an Xbox is not really part of this. It's obviously mainly the Wii U and the Switch. So. If I bring this in, I'm sorry, it's just that I'm just comparing them as well, so if, yeah, so. Um, obviously, the Xbox Ones are obviously concaved a little bit, so they, they go in a little bit, but these aren't really. I mean, you can see that obviously there's the bit here, but obviously it doesn't go a touch in, it just, it's just like that. But with the uh, Wii U, it's kind of, you can see, sorry, I'll do this side it's kind of raised a little bit, if you know what I mean. Um, so obviously, I prefer, well, what I, well, sorry, I should say what I really like about the Wii U is that the, the joysticks are at the top, both at the top, with the triggers and the bumpers. So I can have my two fingers on the bu uh, bumpers or triggers, and then I can have my thumbs on the joysticks, so I don't really have to move them. All right, guys, sorry, I'm back. I, uh, a bit of disturbance. Um, as I was saying, I was talking about the joysticks. Um, so, what I love about the, the Wii U ones is that they're both at the top, and it just just feels better, so that you know you don't have to have your thumb down here, like the Switch one, and then move your hand up there. It's not a big big deal or a big downer. It's just it just somehow just feels nice for me. Like having both my thumbs up here and then have my two fingers that fit right on the bumpers. But I'll get to that when we get to the bumpers. Um, so, yeah, it just, it just, and the triggers as well. So I can have that and then also have my thumbs on the triggers. Wait, triggers? No, joysticks, not triggers. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it somehow just feels right for Nintendo. Don't, don't ask me why. It just feels more like Xbox. For joysticks wise, of course. Um, but you know, personal preference, of course. Right, so I'm gonna go for uh, the Wii U for that one. Wii U, one point out of ten. Right, next, the D pad. Now, um, I actually want to bring another controller in here. Uh, well, yeah, controller. Um, the D pad on the Wii U really reminds me of if you owned a Wii and you own this controller, you're a legend. 
Um, because I have like maybe a two or three SNES games on the Wii. I mean, I don't really play them anymore because I have the SNES uh, app on uh, the, the Switch. So I'll use that now. The, it, it remind the D-pad on here reminds me of this controller, which is the Wii. I think it's class. I think it's called the Classic, the Classic controller or something. I think I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just bringing this in because this really reminds me. The D-pad really reminds me of this because it looks similar as well. I was gonna say it looks like the uh. I go again. Sorry about that. Had postage <laughs> for some reason. Um, that's something in there. So, uh, apologize about. That. Don't know why I mentioned that, but whatever. Um, so as I was saying, what was I talking about? Oh yes, uh, the Wii Pro controller. Um, it remind it. I was gonna say it reminds me of the uh, D-pad on the Wii remote, but I was like, mm, it's not that. It, it's it's the it's the classic. <sighs> Sorry, I just ran upstairs. <laughs> um. And catch my breath. Um, so it reminds me of the D-pad on the um, classic Wii. I've forgotten what, you call, what, what the controller is called specifically, but it reminds me of that a lot, and that's a good thing because I really like that controller. And sometimes playing those classic Wii games with this D-pad is really good. Now moving on to the Switch D-pad. Uh, I actually really like this D-pad. Surprisingly, um, the reason why I'm saying surprisingly is because I really like this D-pad. And I wasn't sure if I was going to like this one or not. It's nice and clicky. Has a good um, feel. I don't know how to describe it because this is. I mean, I can, I can. I'm used to that that feel of the Wii U one, but this actually feels really nice. Like nice. I can't describe it. It's 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 nice. If you own a Pro controller, a Switch Pro controller, then you might get what I mean. Where it means it's clicky. Because if you own a Wii U one as well, you can tell the difference between the two. Um, this is going to be a hard one. Um, I might go for the Wii U. That's hard. Like <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know, it's really hard. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go for the, the Wii U. Wii U. Because it has that classic, it reminds me of that classic, um, you know, um, yeah, feel for the uh, classic Wii controller. What's next? Bumper buttons. Now, here we are, bumper buttons. Um, so first, Wii U. Now this, I really like. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. It fits right in my hands. Well, the fingers like they curl right on top of it, and they actually feel like they're, they're literally for my hands, like for fingers. Sorry, like because they fit right there. Because like if I if I have my fingers on the joysticks and then pop them down, it pretty much fits in there, and like, I can just press them like that. Like, it's hard to describe, because obviously you guys aren't feeling what I'm feeling, so it, it's hard to describe, like, in words. But that's really nice. Now moving on to the Switch. It's not that it's bad, but it, it, it just doesn't have that feel like the uh, the Wii U. God, it's going to be more Wii U, Jesus. People, uh, there's going to be a lot of hate for this, but like, this is my personal opinion. But it's not, I, I like the, the bombers, but it, it somehow just doesn't, it, it doesn't um, compare to this one for some reason. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for the, uh, what's the pen? There it is. Um, I'm going to go for the Wii U bumpers. Got three for Wii U and zero for Switch so far. Hopefully Switch should catch up. Uh, what's next? Triggers. Now, actually, triggers this. Is where it will change. Triggers on the Wii U. They're not triggers, they're fucking buttons. I mean, the same as the Switch, but like, compared to the. The fucking buttons. Compared to the. <laughs> compared to 
the fucking Xbox. They have a... What, what do you call it? I forgot what you call it. As a, um... Okay. It, it, it's a trigger. You know, that's a trigger. Not... This is a button. Not a fucking trigger. It's not even gradual. Where is it? There we go. No. Uh, this is weird. It's not even gradual. It's just... It's just one... You can't... It's not, like, gradual. It's literally, like... You can, like, take your time with the trigger. Or, like, I know I'm comparing the Xbox again, but... Compared to the Switch, I mean, at least it looks like a fucking trigger as well. Because this... Those triggers don't look traditional. In my case. I put my chin. I might. Um, at least these look like triggers, and they feel better. But, I mean... You know. It, it could be better, but... For this one, I'm gonna have to go for the switch because not only do they, well, I mean, they look like triggers. They're like shaped traditionally like triggers. Can they have that shape, especially on the, uh, the curb side? Because this, I mean, actually, yeah, it actually does actually a little bit. Sorry, my bad, but I mean, like it has that gap as well, which is good. I mean, obviously this one doesn't, but like it. it it just looks like a trigger to me. These these little triggers are like this. A little bit, they do a little bit, but, you know. The, the feel of it, it just feels like a trigger more than the Wii U. So I'm going to have to go for the uh, Switch. Okay. Three for one. Oh, shit. I, put, I take the joysticks. That's stupid. Trigger buttons. Oh. Okay. So far, Wii U is winning. Hope you saw that. Let me see that. Sorry, it's covering the screen so I can't see. Uh, action buttons A, B, X, and Y. Now, Wii U. D that, nah, it doesn't remind me of the classic. Only the D pad reminds me of the Wii U. Uh, and the, the Wii U. Uh, the Wii uh, controller. Um, what do the buttons remind me of? Oh, the, the, the Wii U gamepad. That's what it reminds me of. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Switch. See, the Switch ones are slightly bigger, and they're slightly flatter as well. I'm not sure if you can kind of see the difference. Shit, sorry. Uh, see, look, you can see... They're a lot more. They're a lot more um, flatter. I mean, those are flat, but they're just actually they. They're slight. There's a touch raise. Uh, look, I know I'm. It's subtle. I know it's subtle differences, but I'm just saying that there is a big difference between the two buttons. Like one of them's bigger and slightly flatter. And one is uh, smaller, but a touch. Uh, higher um well risen so i think the buttons are gonna have to go for the switch as well i mean once again right i need to actually uh just a full disclosure just if if one of these controllers win does it mean i hate the other one i just prefer it and like i said at the start i love both of these controllers equally it's just that if i had to choose one of them this would be, the one of these would be the one. It's just a competition I just thought of. So, um, what did I say? So the action buttons, I'm going to have to say the switch. So let's go for the switch. Take that. Right, home button. Now, the home button on the Wii U. It's a bit boring really, isn't it? Um... Yeah, it could be, it's just a bit boring really, isn't it? It's just a button really. I mean, if you press it, home menu. But at least this one, it has a light in it, doesn't it? I think it has a light. You can see that it, it, around the home button there's a little light. Kind of reminds me of the Xbox 360 controller. Obviously, I know that this doesn't, um, this doesn't uh, indicate players and stuff. Like, actually, does it? 
home button does look better on the Switch because this is just, you know. I mean, I know they're, bit, they're both a bit plain, but this has a bit more oomph to it for some reason. There's just something about it that I really like about it. There is definitely a light around the edge of the circle. But, you know, preferences, of course. Her home button goes to the Switch. That's kind of a quick one. Uh, style and appearance. Now, to me, this is easy. Um, style, as in like the 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 uh, yeah the look of it. Appearance, should I say a better word? I'm gonna have to go for the switch straight away. The reason why I say that's because it's. Slight, you can see it's see through and you can see inside the controller which looks really good and also there's actually like a bit of grip around the uh around it goes around around the front which i really like however the u is just glossy and it your fucking fingerprints go on it and it's not really nice is it and also the back you know it's a bit boring at the back um yeah another quick one the switch, definitely. Now the switch is winning <laughs> so far by one point. Feel and comfort. Now, like I was saying uh, earlier, that the Wii U triggers and the joysticks with the triggers as well. Triggers, bumpers and joysticks together at the top are really nice. I like how you, can, you like, my hands can just reach the top those, these two fingers can go back whenever I, I need them to. These are on the triggers. Obviously, I need to move this to go for the action buttons, but really good. Um, this one, nope, not bad. Um, it's just that, um, I mean, same thing with the buttons and, sorry, the triggers and the bumpers. But with the, uh... I don't know. I mean, I like it. Like I said, I like it, but it's just preference, really, isn't it? So I like having the buttons at the top so that I can have. Oh, I can't describe it. I'm not. I'm not good at this. <laughs> like having two fingers on two buttons that, are, that that literally fit within my hands, and having two thumbs at the top, and then having two my two index fingers at the top and then move them whenever I need to so that's really good um, but with the switch I mean I mean you can do the same thing with the index fingers with the bumpers and the triggers it's just that the I prefer the Wii U slightly better just because I love having it have have this nice feel so I can't describe it but if you know what I mean then great, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to go for the Wii U on this one. Feel comfort. Just. Um, what's next? Start, select, and plus, minus. Sorry. Pardon. Uh, obviously you can hear that, but you know. Um, so start and select. Now, what threw me off a little bit, with the start and select button from the Switch, with the plus button and the home button, I, I usually get confused um, because they're similar shaped so that's the only bummer about the switch controller is that when I press when I go for, press the home button when I finish a game I press the plus button by accident I'm like oh shit <laughs> I mean it's not a, a huge thing uh, uh, once again it's just a bit annoying you know it's just that oh shit I've forgotten that it'd be good if if it was you know either one or the other was bigger or you know you could tell which one's which better instead of having two buttons similar so i wish they improved that uh but the uh with the um wii u one the buttons are slightly more raised than the home button so you don't have to worry about that too much because you got the select and start button plus or minus are slightly raised than the home button so i would like Oh, okay, so that's the home button. Okay, that's the plus, minus. Y you can tell. So I'm going to go for the Wii U. Right, who's winning? Five, four. Oh, Wii U's winning so far. 
if Switch gets this one. If, the, if Switch gets this one, then it's a draw. And if the Wii gets it, then the Wii wins. Now, the overall layout. When I say overall layout, I mean, like, obviously triggers, action buttons, all the buttons and stuff, the layout and stuff. I'm going to be talking about mainly the front and the top. Because... I mean, and also some of the other features as well in it. Um, actually, there is one feature on the uh, Wii U controller that's not on the Switch, which is the power button, which powers on the Wii U, which I think is really useful for when you're sitting back on your sofa or couch and you're like, oh, I want to turn this on, I can't be asked. So if you have the controller right next to you or on your hands, press one button, turns on off automatically. If it's synced up to your console, obviously. But yeah, I think that's a really good feature on the Wii controller, Pro Controller. Um, I wish they added that for the Switch. But what's good about the Switch is that uh, you can obviously put on Amiibos. But obviously I don't have ami uh, Amiibos. So I'm not bothered about them. So it's not a huge deal for me. But um, I love the feature on the Wii U one. See... The overall layout. I'm more on the Xbox now than I was on the Wii U. Because now I'm used to like the Xbox layout. And since I had the Pro Controller, which is like two or three days ago, I've now like gotten used to the oh, I don't know. I like the snapshot button as well. I like how you can capture stuff and also if you hold the button down, then it captures the video. But with the Wii U, there's not that much, um, you know. The only, um, like, useful and, like, helpful thing about it is the power button. Just because you can just push it, console turns on. But with this, uh, actually, if you press the home button, doesn't that also turn on the console? Or was it just sleep mode? I'm gonna have to go for the switch because I'm just so used to having the layout like this. Sorry, dogs come hard to burp. <laughs> um, obviously, oh, oh, sorry. This is very similar, apart from obviously some of the buttons on the switch are on the Xbox, like the home button. Oh, actually, yeah, there is. It's just different. It's just a touch bit layout. Obviously, the home button on the Xbox is at the top. And obviously on the switch, so like the little one there. I'm going to go for the switch. So that means it's a draw. So five, five. Pretty sure. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Draw. I love, each, but like I said at the start, I really love both these controllers. Uh, for different reasons, different features, etc. Um, I absolutely love this controller. I've had love with it since I first got it. Same as with this. I love the layout, I love the triggers, I love the joystick layout. I just love it. Um, <sighs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it. Uh, I've had a bit of disturbances uh, during the video, so I apologise about that. Including post postages and shit. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you guys enjoyed this um, video of comparison between the Wii U controller <laughs> and the Switch controller, Pro controllers, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and, uh, yeah. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Who knows what it will be? I know what it is. You guys will find out. Bye.